Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, React series, episode 14, and we're going to be looking at Should Component Update, which is useful for performance in your React app. So we have a certain point app here, and we have a sum component, which has the prop of red that we're passing in, as well as the groceries component that's just rendered as is. So let's take a look at some component first. It just has a constructor that sets the props and sets the state with the count of one. It has a should component update function, which we'll look at in a second. It renders out a button that when clicked sets the state and adds one. And it has a count that displays that um, within the button. Inside of the should component update, we're basically comparing the current prop color to the next prop color. And we're comparing the current state count to the next state count. And if those are neither of those are uh, different, we return false. So what that looks like right now is if we just click here, you can see we count and we're adding one, which is what this set state is doing right here. Recall in the state episode that we used set state rather than setting it directly. So these are returning true because the state count is different every time. So if we look at the state count, we can see that that goes up. And so um, you can see it's going up. But if we always return false here, and there was nothing to compare with refreshes, you'll see that no matter how many times we change this, even though the state is technically changing, it's not re-rendering. So this is allows us to have a nice little comparison that says, hey, should we be updating? If so, do it. If not, since this is an extremely common pattern, React provides a way where you can actually eliminate this whole thing and just use pure component instead. So if we just use pure component here and we render that out, we'll get the exact same thing and it takes advantage of something very similar to this with this shallow comparison. Let's look, next, let's look at this groceries component. So we have this groceries component here and it renders out a button that adds chicken and a list component here that has the state of the groceries. Handle click basically says, hey, let's go ahead and set the chicken. Now note that we're actually mutating this groceries array and then setting the state. This is, doesn't work. And the reason this doesn't work is because we're using pure component up here for the list component. So if we try to add the chicken, that's not going to work. So what we need to do is similar to what we had shown previously in the state episode, is take the previous state and then reset it. Here, once again, we're going to use spread operators, but this time on an array. So we're going to take all of the previous groceries and then add chicken to the end of them. Similarly, if you don't use the spread attribute, uh, spread operator, if you want to set them with concat here, you can based off the previous state as well. So now that works and we can add as much chicken to the grocery list as we would like. Um, so that's it for today's episode. Um, you should be using pure components or you should be using should component update accordingly in your app to really speed things up. It's a really great uh, thing that React provides. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Thank you.